Hi there, Psycho Enthusiasts, and welcome to the next episode of Friday Psycho Best Practices. My name is Vasily Fomachev, and I'm a Psycho Technology MVP. In this episode, I'd like to stay on track of improving the usability of Psycho Client Tools and talk to you about using icons for your data definition templates. Psycho provides a way to specify a, a icon, a custom icon, or one of the default icons that come with Psycho for a template that gets also inherited by items created from those templates, visually providing cues as to the type of item you're working with in the content tree, and therefore dramatically increasing the usability of tools like Content Editor. In previous Psycho versions, we were able to specify icons for data definition template sections, and that's, uh, I believe, Psycho version 8 and uh, before, uh, 8 and up, uh, now we don't need to specify icons for sections uh, because they're not displayed in the section toolbar as I show you in, just here in a, uh, in a minute. But we can still want to specify an icon for the data definition template itself. So let's take a look at what I'm talking about here. So I have a default site core instance and I've logged into the content editor. And by default, as you all know, we have the home item pre-configured in Sitecore. Now what I've done is I've created some sample items using the sample template that comes with Sitecore again by default. You can find it under Templates, Sample Folder. Here's our sample item. So I created well, what I thought of just off the top of my head is a simple default website, let's say for an agency. So they have an About Us page, uh, they have a Contact Us page, and then they have a client section where they list the list of clients that they work with, and each client has projects that that agency uh, worked on. So as you can see, looking at that tree, you cannot tell what type of items th uh, those are. By the name, you can give a kind of a good guess, but however, you don't know what renderings, what kind of fields, what kind of data uh, lives on those items and if we were to rename the item to something else that would take away all the cues altogether. So let's, take away, uh, let's, uh, let's see how we can fix that with defining icons for those templates. Now what I've also done here is I've created a couple of sample templates and as you can see we're following the best practice from one of my previous videos about creating a custom folder for our custom website templates. So I've created a couple sample templates, a client and a project. And as you can see, I've defined icons for both of them. So we're no longer using the default blank page icon here. We're using custom icons defined in the app collection. And I'll show you how to do that in just a second. So first, I want to show you how to update item template by switching the template and which would also switch the icon of that item. So what we want to do is switch the client items from using the sample item template to using the client template and project to using the project template. So let's go ahead and do that right here. Let's see. So I've, let me go ahead and enable my configure tab. I don't use the template change very frequently so therefore I didn't have that option on my toolbar. Maybe it's actually a good one to add here. I still have some room on the right. I'll do that later. So we'll go ahead and click on the item that we want to change the template for and we'll go to the template chunk and click the change button and we'll navigate to our custom template that we created. Hit next, accept, and close. We'll do that for client two here as well. Next, what I've done is I've simply duplicated the sample items so there are no field or presentation layer conflicts that we need to resolve or update. And then on uh, project items, we'll do the same, but this time around, oh, let's see, clicked assign instead of a change, but this time around we'll go ahead and pick the project template. And here we are. Now, Sitecore, as you noticed, by default does not update templates in the content tree. What you want to do is minimize that content tree and expand it back out. 
and here we go. So now, as you can see, we're using custom icons for uh, special um, content types. Now, this looks much better. Now, looking at the tree, we're able to easily tell, even if we rename the item, we can now tell that these are items of the same type. And then if we had previous ex experience with this content tree, we already know that items with this icon represent a client and items with the, let's say, folder icon represent a project. So let's take a look at how to configure an icon on a template from the beginning. So what I'll do is I'll use the sample item template that was um, that came with Sycor by default, and I'll update the uh, um, the icon on this instead of creating a new template um, for the demonstration purposes. And what I'm trying to do is actually update icons on all the rest of the pages, just something more meaningful than just a blank default icon, something more interesting. Now, in previous Sycor versions, what you had to do to update the icon to make sure that it updates on all the items is you had to define it on standard values. And you had to also define it on the template to distinguish it from the list of templates in your template section. Now Sitecore 8 is smart enough now to figure out if you specified the icon on the template item itself, the standard values will inherit that. So let's go ahead and do just that. And let's see. So the icon button. So I have it on my custom toolbar. But by default, the icon button uh, is located on the configure tab. Let's go ahead and um, click on, so first we want to select the template, click the icon button, and then in the pop-up that comes up, Sitecore was kind enough to sort of provide suggestions for most used icons for our templates. Now if we don't see anything that we like here, we can view the full library by clicking more icons link at the top of the pop-up. Now. Quick tip, if this is the first time you're launching the, uh, the, the full icon library window, it might take a while. So if it does, um, don't worry about it. Just be a little patient, it'll come up. Now, Sacro provides multiple libraries of icons. As you can see, applications, business, controls, core, and so on. Uh, now, Sitecore 8 came with a new library, which provides a new um, kind of a flat um, metro style look to uh, to the icons under the apps category and these are the icons I was using um, here for the project and the client types so we'll stick with the category in fact um, I would suggest if you are uh, defining icons for your templates uh, I'd suggest staying within the same theme to make the experience more cohesive and um, is aesthetically pleasing if we start using icons from different collections, let's say uh, the core collection or uh, I believe the multimedia collection, as you can see the styling of this collection is dramatically different from the styling of the apps collection. So I'd suggest you to stick with pick one or several very similar looking ones and just stick with that. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and uh, pick an icon for our generic page for a sample item template from this collection and click OK. Now as you can see the icon got applied to the template and if we minimize that template and expand that now we can see that the icon is also on the standard values. Definitely like Sitecore 8 for that. Now what you also find is uh, specifying icons and looking for the right icon actually will take you a long time. It is it is really a time vampire. It's perhaps the most time consuming task um, that you, you'll find yourself doing as a Sitecore developer when creating data definition templates in Sitecore. So um, just a heads up on that guys. <laughs> uh, so now, now that we've updated the icon on the sample item, this should also Inherit this icon should also be inherited from all the items created from that template. So let's take a look. Let's go ahead and minimize the home node, expand that back out, and there it is. So we have all of the items created from that template inheriting the icon. Now, as you can clearly see, we can visually distinguish the generic template items from client and projects just by looking at the icon which dramatically improves the usability. 
um, and it looks much better than just a list of generic icons in the content tree. Now, you can specify the icon on data definition templates, and you can also specify the icon directly on the item. Let's go ahead and do just that. Like I said, it, when you start using icons for your templates, you want to stay with, uh, within the same temp, uh, icon collection. What we've done here is we've used the app collection for our new templates. However, our home item that came with Cycro by default is still using an older home icon from a different collection. Now let's go ahead and update it to the one that came with the apps collection. Let's go ahead and go to icons and choose our apps collection. And there's a home, there it is, there's a home icon that we can use instead. And there we go. So now we're looking much better and content editors, even uh, without uh, having prior experience with a site, will be easily able to distinguish types of content items in the content tree just simply by looking at the, uh, at the icons. So here we go. Uh, this was uh, using icons for your data definition templates. Make sure uh, you do that in your future Cycro solutions to dramatically improve the usability of um, Cycro client editing tools. And again, uh, this was Vasily Fomichev. I'm a Cycro Technology MVP. If you liked the video, please uh, comment, like it, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And for more tips like this, check out CMSBestPractices.com. And I'll see you next Friday. Over and out.